Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for this honor. As I told my fellow recipients this morning, any one of my fellow Department of Defense brethren and sister could have been here to receive this award. I give all the credit to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has propelled me into action as a, as a leader. My life truly has been fulfilling. An outstanding career in the United States Air Force, serving for and with some of our greatest people of our times. Traveling the world with James Bond's adventures, marrying a very terrific woman from Columbus, Ohio, who actually serves the United States Air Force side by side. She outranks me. Jacqueline Herring Jones. She's a true role model and my inspiration, a true life partner. And then my two terrific children, Christopher and Maya. Wow, I can't say enough about those two. They're my clones, but they actually have, you know, the loving characteristics of their moms. As a child, my parents gave me all the support. They nurtured me to see that leadership was my calling. Regardless of the situation or challenge, I seemed to thrive. The more complex, the more I leaned forward. I learned many of my skills from my parents, Reverend Dr. Zebedee Herring and Betty Herring. They grew up in North Carolina on a tobacco farm and later migrated to upstate New York. They were always busy working at least two, three jobs just to make things comfortable for their families. Their drive, convictions, and sacrifice enabled me to see them as very complete Americans and parents. My father, Korean War veteran, a retired police officer, dedicated civil servant, employee at West Point, his call into the ministry and later preaching of the Gospels, truly my inspiration. My parents, just average Americans, making the most of their situation. My in-laws are here tonight, Sam and Abby Jones. Their story very similar. Mr. Samuel Jones joined the United States Air Force as an enlisted man. And he and his wife raised four solid children on military bases. Both born and raised in Montgomery, Alabama, they saw better odds of increasing their livelihood in the military during Vietnam than to make it in this southern community that still practiced Jim Crow laws. And they overcame nightmares through hard work, a strong belief in God, family and country, and they made it. Their story is about average Americans making the most of their situation. Either Mr. Jones or my father could have easily been recognized for their outstanding achievements as they have made sacrifices to our nation. In fact, if the label on the garment doesn't say made in the USA, Mr. Jones has a hard time buying it. Patriotic and true to America. My story is very simple. An average American who benefited because of solid parenting, affirmative action, benefited because of full integration of public schools provided under the Constitution, an average American who was inspired by the dream of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., an average American who wanted to see how presidents were made, an average American who aspired to lead men and women in combat in our armed forces, an average American who today commands one of the Air Force's greatest mission support squadrons in our inventory, just an average American who will continue to be involved and best actualize the edict of our nation's constitution where all men and women are created equal and actualize our nation's declaration having the inalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I can hear Ray Charles' America rendition right now. Average Americans every day making a difference like no other. Tonight, while we enjoyed our fine meal and our great company, let's remember our husbands and our wives our sons and our daughters, our nieces and our nephews, our neighbors and our coworkers, to all those that we call friends who are deployed right now in harm's way, who are in the sandy trenches, those who are in the bowels of our Navy ships, those who are sitting in the cockpits of our Air Force jets and bombers. Let us keep them in the minds, not only tonight, but as long as we as a nation are committed to keeping peace in the Middle East. Each loss of life, like it or not, does guarantee our freedom and our democracy. We must hold true to the highest principles of nation's call, and that is freedom and justice for all. Let freedom ring. 
I'm excited, JCs. I'm excited about the future of our nation. And I'd like to thank tonight Colonel James Kowalski, commander of Ellsworth Air Force Base, South Dakota, my nominator, mentor, and war hero. Colonel D'Artagnan War, in 1997, 10 outstanding young American who took his time to mentor me from a little second lieutenant. To be in the company of past award winners like Arthur Ashe, Vice President Cheney, Reverend Jesse Jackson, Carl Rowan, Bruce Jenner, President John F. Kennedy, and Air Force great General Chuck Yeager. Wow, I am truly honored and humbled. Thank you, JCs, and may God bless each of you. I leave you with my salute for all that you do. God bless.